Hello and welcome to Cataclysm University. I'm your instructor Vormithrax and this is course number 22 where we will be discussing filthy clothes and what to do with them. So by default when you start up a new game of Cataclysm if you don't specifically remove this option it is by default set to include the filthy clothes mod in the game. What that means is when zombies are killed and they drop their items and loot it will generally be filthy. So anything that they have touched or been involved with regarding clothing and armor pieces will have the filthy status and that means that um, you can't wear them without getting pretty heavy morale penalties as well as if you get hit in a location that has a piece of filthy clothing you have a much much higher chance of becoming infected because of how grimy and dirty and just all around nasty the clothing has been due to the contact with the undead. So. How do you get rid of the filthy status? Well, that's what we're going to talk about. So first, I want to show you in the menu system where you can either remove or disable that filthy clothing status. I actually do like it quite a bit in terms of how the game world operates and adding another layer of complexity to things. So once you know how to deal with them, it's not too difficult to work around. So I like it myself. I don't recommend you remove it unless you just absolutely hate it or want to. But here's how. So in your world generation, when you go to create world, in the mod load order, by default, there will be an option right here. Filthy clothes. So rebalancing mods, filthy clothing. It will be in this position each time by default. Now you can easily remove it just by pressing the enter key once you have it selected on that mod load, mod load order screen and it'll put it back over on this left hand side. So if we come over here and we scroll down uh, it's in here somewhere where to go okay it didn't um, ah it's under balance there it is all right, so filthy clothing. It's under the balance tab right there. So you can put it back in your game just by selecting it and press enter and you'll see it's now back on the list right there under rebalancing mods. So I do recommend you play with it. I think it adds an interesting layer of complexity uh, to the game and uh, that would be my recommendation. But if you just absolutely don't want it in your game world, that's how you take it out again. Just when you create your game world, make sure you remove the filthy clothing mod from the mod load order list. All right, so let's head back into the game itself and take a look at what to do with these. So if we go into our university save, I'll bring up Professor Varmithrax and give you a demonstration on how to deal with this. All right, so here's Professor Varmithrax in his shiny new military power armor, and that part you can ignore. But to my left and right are the items we're going to be talking about. So to my right, if I examine that pile, you can see we've got a number of filthy clothing pieces. We've got a military rucksack, a hoodie, a pair of combat boots, fire gauntlets, and some panties. So these are all a brownish color. That's the easiest way to tell that these are filthy clothes. And they also have a description in brackets at the end that says filthy. So if I were to wear one of these items and that particular body location where it's located were to get hit, and that percentage of coverage was involved, meaning if it's got a 30% coverage and you got hit in that body location and it rolled 0 to 30 for hitting that particular item, then you are very, very likely to receive a uh, infection from that infect or from that uh, filthy clothing. So you do want to be very careful if you choose to wear a piece of filthy clothing, you'll both take a negative morale hit for wearing it as well as that massively increased chance of getting infected where you, if you are to get damaged there. So how do you clean these? Well, pretty simple. You only need a couple of things. To my left, I've got the items that you need. So you need a soap bar and detergent, as well as something that's in my inventory, a washboard. So the washboard is the tool that's going to be used, and either the soap bar or detergent is the cleaning agent. So you need both of these things, and it doesn't matter which you pick, they both will work as a cleaning agent for the washboard. And finally, you need a fairly large source of water. So you're not going to be able to do much clothes cleaning from a toilet, for example. There's just not enough water available for cleaning a lot of the different clothing pieces. 
So if you're able to accumulate a larger amount of water in one location through like a steel jerry can or any other means, then you'd probably be able to clean things fairly well. But it takes quite a bit of uh, water to actually clean things. The rucksack, for example, I think takes 48 units of water to clean. So two full toilet bowls, basically, uh, to clean it. So here's an example. So I have the washboard in my inventory. I'm going to pick up some of the filthy clothing. You have to have it in your inventory in order to clean it. And we've got a zombie coming towards us. I'm not going to worry too much about him. Let's just kill him with the cheat menu real quick. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to press A to activate. And it asks us what we want to activate. And we're going to pick the washboard. And because we have the soap close enough to us, it will just automatically use uh, from that pile. But now we're going to pick what we want to wash. I'm going to pick the rucksack first. And you can see here it's asking, use which component, either the soap bar, it'll take four out of our ten uh, units of soap, or four of the twenty detergent. So I'm going to go ahead and pick the soap bar. And it knows that there's a water source nearby, so it's automatically allowing us to use the river water here to clean. And you can see here, you washed your clothing successfully. Now it didn't ask how much water or it didn't mention how much water it's going to use. Uh, when you've got an unlimited source like this, it won't mention it. But if you're standing next to a toilet, for example, or a jug of water, uh, it'll mention how many water units it's going to require. And if you don't have enough, you won't be able to. So you can see now the military rucksack has removed the filthy message, and it's now the normal white color. And so it is ready to be used and will no longer have any of the negative modifiers. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So the washboard itself is fairly easy to make. If we bring up our crafting menu and then search for the washboard, you can see here, washboard. It only requires fab skill difficulty of one. Time to complete is one minute, and all it takes is a tool with cutting of one and a single two by four. So super easy to build. Um, so you just want to look for the washboard in your crafting menu. If you meet those requirements, then you can easily build one, and after that you just need some water and some cleaning agents, either soap bars or detergent is the most obvious. So if we step, go ahead and grab our soap and detergent, and we'll back up a bit from the water. We'll say apply, washboard, the hoodie, and we'll pick the detergent this time. Yep, it still washed it even from this far away. <laughs> Let's back further away from the river. Apply, washboard, gauntlets. And you can see here you need eight charges of water or clean water to wash your fire gauntlets. So that's an example of how much water it's going to require. The gauntlets only take eight. I know for sure the rucksack takes 48. So depending on the size and level of the clothing item that you're trying to clean, it will take a varying amount of water or fresh water to be able to do this. Um, so if we try to do it on the panties, for example, it only needs two charges of water for those. And the combat boots takes 16 charges. So, varying amounts of water, so it just depends on what you're trying to clean. A rucksack, I think, is the biggest thing I've tried to clean that's been filthy. Uh, I don't think I've seen a number higher than 48 yet. There may very well be some things like suits of clothing that are uh, filthy, might require more than 48. Um, but just be aware it can vary depending on the size and difficulty level of the clothing item. That's pretty much it. So once you know how to do that, just build your washboard, grab some soap and detergent, and find a water source. And you will be able to clean all that really cool, filthy gear that the zombies are dropping. So I hope you found the information helpful, and please do attend any future courses. I've got more planned and are going to be coming out soon. Uh, feel free to check out the previous courses, obviously. And let me know in the comments or via my Discord channel if you have specific parts of the game that you'd like some more explanation on. I'm happy to take requests and add them to my syllabus to uh, be a future course, so just let me know what you'd like to learn about, and I'll be happy to provide some information for you. Hope you have a great day and a good apocalypse. Goodbye.